Today on MTG Unpacked, we're cracking open a draft booster box of Innistrad Double Feature. So this was just released yesterday, so that's January 28th, 2022. Goes for about 185 to 200 bucks, so pretty pricey. And the gimmick here is your mashing together Innistrad, Midnight Hunt and Crimson Vow. And all the cards are in black and white. So I'm curious how this actually works out. So let's get stuck into it. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. This product uh, has had a bit of a poor reception. People are like... They've just got black and white cards, so yeah, they're not that excited, but we shall see. Okay, so there's 24 packs. We'll go through the uh, early ones, go through commons and stuff, but then we'll speed up as we go along. So as you can see, Moon Rages Slash, No Way Out, Sun Gold Barrage, Dawnheart Rejuvenator. Okay, so you get four of the Midnight Hunt, Doomed Dissenter, Stitched Assistant, Adamant Will, Ragged Recluse, and flipping around into Odious Witch. And I think, yeah, they've got some sort of embossing here. I don't know if you can see that around the edge. It's like the ink is on another layer. Dissipate, okay, so Uncommons, Outland Liberator, Olenbach Escort, Thirst for Discovery, okay, so you get two, two Midnight Hunt, two Crimson Vow, and then we've got Rite of Harmony, okay, so there's a rare, and we get another one, Earth Tormented Prophet, and we're supposed to get a silver screen foil. So is this the silver screen foil? Okay, that's interesting. So it's like, I don't know if you can even see this, like around the, the edges, they've got some foily effect, like a green foil. Bit hard to see. And then on the other side, what do we got here? Infested werewolf. Okay, so interesting. Infestation expert, pop that up there. Alright, so now we know what is what. We'll zip through things a bit quicker. So consider there's a decent pull. Raise the FG Siege Zombie Homestead Courage Flame Blessed Bolt Nature's Embrace Aim for the Head. Wretched Throng, Thermo Alchemist for the Uncommons, Ambitious Farmhand, flips around into Season Cathar, Arch Ghoul of Thraben, Soul Cipher Board, flips around into Cypherbound Spirit. So the black and white artwork is really hard to distinguish. It's like they've just made like a grey scale. I'm not sure if that's true or not, if they did some touching up. We've got Patrician Geist for the rare. Alchemist Gambit and a Foil Festival Crasher and the foiling Yeah, the foiling is just around the edges really hard to see that so it's not actually on the Artwork itself or is it it is it is a little bit That's really hard to see it's like all washed out. Okay. So that was the silver screen foil. That was really the thing I was most looking forward to. So we're going to just skip right ahead here to the good stuff. And right off the bat, we've got a Mythic Sagada Champion of Light. Pop that over there. First Mythic. Is that a double-sided? No, it isn't. And Mirror Hall Mimic. And that one flips around into Ghastly Mimicry. And our foil is Fateful Absence. Yeah, I'm having real trouble telling, like, the artwork. It's, yeah, not really impressed with this, to be honest. Okay, so we will skip all that stuff. We know what that's about by this point. And we get a Pithing Needle. 
Red Faced Demon and Ollenbach Escort. And that one does not flip around. Okay. So are you planning to draft this? I'm wondering what they'll charge for drafts because you're basically looking at like at least double the price here. So yeah, I'm not sure if it's worth it. Could be an expensive draft. Honestly, I think you're better off with your money picking up a um, Modern Horizons 2 box. It's not too much more than this. You've got Can't Stay Away, Hullbreaker Horror, Foil Ill-Tempered Loner, and the Howl Pack Avenger on the other side. Can I get... There we go. I'll move my light into position then. You can see the, the foiling is a bit better, but is that a... Does that have a print line on it? Yeah, that has a nasty print line on it. Okay, next packet. So, let's see if I can do this a little more efficiently. Yep, there we go. Mythic. We got Jaren Corrupted Bishop. And on the other side... Ormondal the Corrupter. I wonder if we'll pull any more Mythics than usual. Oh, a double Mythic pack. Nice. Hallowed Haunting. Excellent. And Into the Night. Okay, so three Mythics. Not too shabby. And the pricing is all over the, pri all over the place. Like there's ridiculous... Prices for like uncommon, so I can't really use the pricing that's available right now. But uh, I'm sure it will drop like a rock, except maybe for the mythics. We've got Bloodline Culling, Edgar Charmed Groom in grayscale, Edgar Markov's Coffin, and Pointed Discussion. And it's really hard to tell. I imagine if you're playing this. A lot of um, magic you're uh, able to tell just at a glance what a card is. You might be familiar with it, what it does just by looking at the colourful artwork. But in this case, I think it's you're going to have a lot higher cognitive load figuring that out. We've got Curse of Shaken Faith, Splendid Reclamation, Mold Graph Millipede. Ooh. Okay, so we are a third of the way through. Can we get some more Mythics? Oh, there's our silver screen. That's sort of confusing as well, the way they have that. Okay, so... Flipping over. Did I skip one? Nope. Okay, so we've got Brutal Cathar. And this one flips around into Moon Rage Brute. And Change of Fortune. Foil, Tylus Hauler, and Diastrain Brawler on the other side. Let me uh, boost the lighting here. Maybe that will... Yeah, okay. So I think my uh, contrast was a little low. So we'll see if that makes a difference. It was looking a bit muddy. Okay, yeah, much better. All right. So we will move on here to Ludovic Necro Genius. And he flips around into Oleg Ludovic's Hubris. Yeah, okay, the cards do look much better. Although this, yeah, this looks like just a grayscale filter. We've got a mythic Avabrak Caretaker flipping around into Hollow Henge Huntmaster. So another werewolf and blessed defiance. Hmm. Let's see if we can pull. Uh, you know what would be cool is a meat hook massacre. Curious what that looks like in black and white. Storm the festival. Lantern flare. And bride's gown. Okay, so, yeah, I'm having trouble telling uh, if they are double-sided or not. I, can, I actually should just look at the uh, back there until right away. That's me looking at these cards. I don't know what I'm looking at. 
Okay, and wake to slaughter. A bit of a metaphor for this product, perhaps. Old Rutstein, there he is, and Crossroads Candle Guide. So I guess it does look a bit like an old monster movie, you know, the really poor quality, grainy, uh, black and white. That's probably what they were going for. And we have Sun Gold Sentinel. Dream Root Cascade. Now, why does that have... Oh, I see, because it's uh, green or blue you're tapping. Okay, so it's got a different color border there. And Sacred Fire. That looks pretty nice, actually, with the silver screen foliage. Yeah, a lot of them look a little bit too muddy. So, next pack here. Uh, keep spoiling the foil at the back there. Okay, and next up we have Champion of the Parish Headless Rider Brian Coma with the Brian Bound Gift on the other side. That one, uh, not sure what I'm looking at there. You lose a, a bit of detail when you go to black and white. Okay, and Flippin' ahead, we have the Dire Strain Rampage, Hive Heart Shaman, Blood Pact, and that was just a single-sided, okay, two-thirds of the way through, I can hear people saying, make it stop, make it stop, yeah, definitely not as exciting with the black and white. So I think we need some mythics here. How about that Geist Flame Reservoir? Oh, here we go. Cemetery Desecrator. All right, that does look pretty awesome, to be honest. Okay, so we're at, uh, what is that? Five mythics and a Florian Voldaren Scion. Okay. <clears throat> Last third to go. And let's see if we... Oh, yes, 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 yes. Hello there, sir. We have Teferi, who slows the sunset. But again, the artwork is really muddy. And, uh, yeah, not that impressed. It is a mythic, though. And we get Welcoming Vampire, along with Flame Channeler. Yeah, the... Uh, the foils, we've got Embodiment of Flame. The foils are probably the highlight here. Some are better than others, though. There's uh, the ones where they've got more of a silvery finish to the artwork look the best, I think. Next up, we've got Galvanic Iteration, Sundown Pass, Harvest Tide Sentry, and nothing on the other side. Okay. One of these days I'll get the hang of it. Okay, so this one is a single-sided. Let's skip over all the shaft here. And we have Vanquish the Horde is the rare, followed by Howpack Piper. And this is a flip card, flips around into Wild Song Howler. And Arch Ghoul of Thraben is the foil. On to the next. I probably won't be opening any more of this. I think this is going to be it. Honestly, if it's not uh, that exciting to open, I'm not going to open a lot of it. We've got Catilda Dawnheart Prime. Oh, and a mythic. Spoke too soon. We've got Maniform Hellkite. Yes, another mythic. So three, six, seven mythics and a Hullbreaker Horror. Check that out. That is nice. Down to the last few packs. Can we add to the mythic tally? So 
most draft booster boxes you would get around five mythics so we are ahead of the curve here see if that continues curse of leeches and flips around what is this leeching lurker yeah leech horror that looks pretty horrifying in black and white too and Anya made of dishonor and that one does not flip and wretched throng what i call the turducken card pretty horrifying okay so we're down to three packs three packs we need some mythics stat and <laughs> We got a sludge monster. Okay, yeah, that's uh, pretty horrifying. Got these slime counters dying to serve. That's pretty cool. And cartographer's survey. Okay, last two packs. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Okay, let's see what we get here in the final two packs. We've got Overgrown Farmland. Catilda Dawnheart Marta flipping it around into Catilda's Rising Dawn. And Daybreak Combat... <coughs> excuse me, Daybreak Combatants Foil. Okay, one more pack. Actually, let's look at the pack artwork real quick. Very shiny. Okay, so can we pull... One more mythic, that's all I ask. Meat Hook Massacre is what we need. Oh, but we did get something else. We got a Tainted Adversary. All right. So another mythic. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is eight. And Overcharged Amalgam. Finally, Neonate's Rush is the Oil. Okay, so there we have it. I would recommend, I mean, if you want to support your local game store, I guess maybe it's worth it to try out a draft, but honestly, I think you're better off investing in Modern Horizons 2 or just a regular standard draft. I'm really unimpressed. This is one of the few Magic products I have not really enjoyed going through. Quite a bit underwhelming. Um, so there we have it. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.